Hold on tight, for we're about to come to a screeching halt. That's correct. For five seconds, the Earth will cease rotating. In one day, the Earth completes one full rotation on its axis. This provides us with the concept of day and night. Because of events that occurred during the planet's formation 4.6 billion years ago, the Earth is spinning. Dust and rock grains clumped together as a massive disk of gas and dust swirled around the Sun, generating forces that kept the planet revolving in one direction. It can remind you of a figure skater whirling faster and faster. We continue to rotate despite the fact that there are almost no forces in space to slow us down. And it will for billions of years to come. Would you fly off the surface of the Earth came to a halt on a dime? Even if the Earth came to a complete stop, the atmosphere would continue to move. That means that even when everything has come to a halt, strong winds will continue to blow. And it wouldn't be a particularly strong breeze. They would be far more powerful than any storm you've ever seen. However, depending on where you were in the world, the strength of these winds would vary. The Earth rotates the quickest at or around the equator. Wind speeds of 1,670 km per hour are expected here, 1,037 miles per hour. You'd be knocked off your feet by those gusts. But don't worry about you. The winds would be powerful enough to rip the Earth's crust apart. So it didn't matter if you were in a steel-reinforced building or out in the open. You'd be obliterated by these winds. The strongest F5 tornadoes can reach speeds of up to 511 km per hour, 318 miles per hour. Houses can be blown off their foundations, cars can be thrown around, and concrete structures can be torn apart by these storms. Three times as strong would be the winds from the Earth's emergency break. So, if the crust beneath your feet didn't disintegrate, you and a bunch of other items would most likely fly a long way. But not to the point of disappearing from the face of the planet. The escape velocity, or the speed required to leave Earth's gravitational pull and enter space, is around 40,000 km per hour, 25,000 miles per hour. Winds would be slightly weaker in other places of the world, such as New Zealand or France. However, at 1,180 km per hour, 733 miles per hour, these would be far more powerful than any storm ever. Everything would be destroyed by these winds. They wouldn't, however, be the only danger you'd have to watch out for in those five seconds. Our Earth isn't a perfectly round ball. Due to the centrifugal forces created by the planet's rotation, it bulges towards the equator. If the Earth's rotation ceased, it would swiftly turn into a perfect sphere. All of the water near the equator would flow away from the equator and towards the poles, resulting in a catastrophic tsunami. That water would retreat five seconds later, when the Earth resumed its full-speed spin. Everything and everyone would be slammed into a wall of water. Twice. That's a monster storm. In this situation, the only area you'd be safe is near the North or South Poles. The breeze would be the gentlest here. After all of this, you must be relieved to learn that the Earth has resumed its usual rotation. However, as I already stated, there would be nothing left on it. Every structure, every acre of farming, and every piece of technology would be completely destroyed. The raw power of being blasted by tremendous gusts of wind would kill billions of people, if not every single person on the planet. So, if you want to survive this catastrophic situation, you need start constructing an underground bunker right now. Fortunately, the Earth is not anticipated to come to a halt in the next few billion years. Previously, the sun would have burned out and turned into a crimson giant. But that's another what-if scenario. Like, share and subscribe to our channel.